space. We were talking about uh, this $500,000 second mortgage, and I was making the point that if it's a 6% loan above market rates, it's not a sweetheart deal. You have a lot of uh, people around Joe Biden, uh, you are saying, who you believe have benefited from their association with a guy who rose to be vice president, uh, but your by, by you bringing up, now you're extending it to the vice president's brother, doesn't it again appear, you're the president's defense lawyer, he's facing yeah. impeachment charges in the House that you are trying to discredit and perhaps knock out uh, one of his main rivals? I'm trying to get somebody to investigate what is massive corruption in the Obama administration. A pay-for-play scheme that goes back to the early days in which uh, Joe Biden's brother, James Biden, and since you know I got cut off, I didn't point out the fact that the Ukrainian-American who you're talking about that gave the $500,000 to the brother got $20 million to open up a car dealership in Ukraine from the federal government. And Joe Biden went all the way to the Ukraine to give a speech to explain what a good car dealer he was. Well, he's a family friend from Delaware. I'm not, not defending yeah, okay, okay. it. Okay, you know, how, you know how much of this there is? one after the other after the other then of course he flew his son to china eight days later his son received one billion dollars from the chinese government into a private equity fund where he was a partner and the nephew of whitey bulger i'm not making that up and uh, the chinese government in other words while joe biden was negotiating for the united states his son was a partner with the chinese government making millions since it was a private company we don't know how much the Chinese government was paying him. Well, just, just do to you, briefly, do you, you know, Hunter Biden says that he, uh, his spokesman says he didn't make any money from this. He was an investor in this firm that, yes, <laughs> had Chinese partners. All right, you find that amusing. But no, I find it amusing. Nobody investigated it. So Donald, so Donald Trump says, I didn't do anything wrong. But you're what? investigating it, Howie. Donald Trump says, I didn't do anything wrong. But you're investigating it. This kid who's been taking down millions for years and has a drug problem, and failed out of the Navy because he has a drug problem and got in the Navy at 43 years old. Joe didn't pull strings corruptly to do that. Well, the question Give is whether break. it can be proven, which is the question you'd be asking no. if you were still a prosecutor. The question is, will somebody, will somebody investigate it? Okay. Here, could you just, just listen for one second? Here's the difference. We got an anonymous whistleblower who says that Donald Trump did something wrong. Donald Trump, like Hunter Biden, says, I didn't do anything wrong. Forget the whistleblower. But we have the transcript of the call and the president's remarks on the law. Wait, wait, before you interrupt me, Howard, sure. I know you want to defend it so bad. I don't want to defend anything. You I'm do. asking questions. You do. I am I, it, asking it's pathetic. questions. It's pathetic. Listen to me. Just listen to me. One second. Hunter Biden says, I didn't do anything wrong. Stop. Stop. No investigation. Nothing. This all should have stopped when President Trump said, I didn't do anything wrong. You never should have even gotten the transcript if we're just going to believe him. Uh, Joe Biden says, I never talked to my family about family business. However, the family business is in the newspapers. The New York Times in December of 2015 writes an article about how corrupt and how conflicted the relationship is with the kid. They say, how could the most corrupt oligarch mm -hmm. in Ukraine be paying the vice president's son, when the vice president has been tasked by Obama to give up money in the Ukraine. So when Joe Biden says, I didn't know about my son's entanglement in Ukraine, we have to believe he didn't read the New York Times. Well, there's been many However, articles since then. However, we do. Okay, but well, we I got to ask, you ask you one more question. we do believe it. I got to ask you one more question. You won't buy that. You won't buy it. I'm not you're making a judgment. I'm no, here to interview you. No, no what, you, what you as an investigative reporter should say to yourself, and that would happen with Trump immediately, is when Hunter Biden says, Oh, I never made any money on this. I, Stop. I understand. No more, no more stories. I understand. No more investment. Well, there have been. There's been a spate of stories about Hunter Biden but this no year. One, New Yorker, yeah. Washington Post, New York Times. All of which, all of which say it's debunked, Hunter to Biden. Nobody's asked for the records. Let them produce the records right. of your private equity fund. One more question about your role in Ukraine, because you had dealt with the recent My fired. role in the Ukraine Hold is on. to try let to get out the, corruption. Let me ask the question. You uh, dealt know with the, the recently fired prosecutor Lutsenko, who's now under investigation himself. Correct. He says he told you there was no evidence of wrongdoing by the Bidens. A story in today's New York Times quotes you as calling him a liar. In retrospect, was it uh, not the best judgment to rely on this guy? <laughs> no. He was the only guy willing to come forward. I took his evidence. I have it, I have it in a written statement. And I'm the first one to re reveal the fact that he was lying. Because it's not just about that, Howie. It's about the fact that Lutsenko 
is now run, run away from the Ukraine and probably paid money to the president of the Ukraine in order to fix this case. The witness I'm relying on, if you paid any attention to what I did last week, is uh, uh, someone named Victor Shokin. That's the, that's the affidavit I put out, plus two others, Kuljuk and Kalanek. Those three all say that Joe Biden pressured the president to fire Shokin because Shokin had just come upon a laundered $3 million transaction to Hunter Biden. And he was told by the Croatian, by the Cypriot government, that the United States government would not allow them to give that information out. That's the reason they say they were fired. Now, yep. I grant you they could be lying, but boy, that's a lot stronger proof than any silly whistleblower nonsense about something that's not even a crime that we're going into an international conniption over right. with a phony House investigation. I have one more Why question. are we treated differently? I have one more. Why? I understand. Why are Republicans treated differently? Well, because it's a big story because is the, unjust there are and because the receipts. press because Boy. the press is in their pocket. I need a half a minute answer. Bad. The Biden campaign. Really bad. The Biden campaign. And you should want to root it out. The Biden campaign has written to the network saying that you should not be booked on any show on television because the uh, journalists are allowing you to make unhinged, unfounded, and desperate lies. Your that, response. Uh, you don't let me get a sentence out. Uh, you, you contradict me immediately. Uh -huh. You watch the interview with one of the Biden cronies or one of the Democratic lapdogs, and they get 15 minutes to answer a question, and they get to say stupid things like, Hunter Biden says I didn't do it. End of story. With me, they contradict me before I get one minute into the sentence. So I don't get to say anything uncontradicted. The reason they don't want me on is they know something you're not reporting on. I've got it all. All right. The I got it all. Conversation will continue. There's a lot more to come out. We haven't moved to Romania yet. <laughs> When do we get to Romania? Yep. Here's my concern. Gotta go. The guy's a crook, big time, and he, he, he made a mockery of the United States of America. We are laughed at in the Ukraine. In the Ukraine, they say, you lecture us on corruption, and your idiot press can't figure out that we were paying off Joe Biden. And what do you think the Chinese think? Rudy Giuliani. The Chinese were paying $1.5 to Rudy, this kid? We they were buying the vice president. We appreciate your coming on. Thanks for joining us. No.